Hello everyone, welcome to the automation community. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about door locking system. So, let's look at the example first. Door locking system. When lock button is pressed, the door should lock and when unlock button is pressed, the door should remain unlocked for 10 seconds and then locked. So, this is locked. The door should not lock if there is someone at the door. That means there will be a lock button that will lock the door and there will be an unlock button that will be used to unlock the door. But when unlock button is pressed, the door will not immediately get locked but it waits for 10 seconds and see whether there is someone at the door. If there is no one at the door, then after 10 seconds, the door gets locked. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example and use some timers, normally open contacts, normally close contacts, memory bits and latching. This is the interface of TI portal version 16. Firstly, we will go to PLC tags, then default tag table, I will double click on it. So here we will be adding our inputs and outputs. So firstly, we have an input that is lock button. And then we have unlock button. Then we have unlock button. Then we have a sensor that detects whether there is someone or not. And then we have an output that is a door that is the lock of the door door lock so as the lo lock is an output so it its address will be q its address will start with q and then 0, 0.0 so we have added our inputs and outputs after that We'll go to program blocks and then main OB1. So here we will be drawing ladder diagram. I will zoom into it. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for the lock button. And then I will insert a coil for door, door lock. So when lock button is pressed and released, for that door should be locked. For that I will open the branch, add a normally open contact, then close. So this will be door lock. So this lock button is a uh, this lock button is actually a push button. When it is pressed and released, door gets locked. And then I will uh, insert one more normally open contact for unlock button. So when unlock button is pressed and release, a memory bit gets through. This is a memory bit M0.0 .0, as this unlock button is also a push button. So I will open the branch, add a normally open contact and close. I will latch it this M0.0 .0 here. So when unlock button is pressed and release, M0.0 .0 gets through. And when this M0.0 .0 gets through, another memory bit gets through. Another memory bit gets through, but it should get through for 10 seconds. For that, we'll use a timer. So firstly, I will assign address to this normally open contact. As this normally open contact is a memory bit, so it will be M0.0 .0, and this will be M0.1. So this M0.1 should get on for only 10 seconds. For that, I will use a timer operation here and that will be TP. So the preset value for this TP will be 10 seconds and then this m0.1 will be used here as normally close contact here as normally close contact this will be m0.1 so what happens is that when lock button is pressed and release the store lock gets on and when unlock button is pressed and release m0.0 gets through and when this M0.0 .0 gets through, M0.1 gets through for 10 seconds. 
So when this M0.1 gets true for 10 seconds, the door does not get locked, it gets unlocked for 10 seconds. But there will be a sensor that will detect the presence of someone at the door. So this normally closed contact will be for sensor. If sensor gets activated, the door get, does not get locked. So we will start the simulation. Click on OK. Click on load. And then finish. After that, I will start the CPU. And then I will start monitoring. And then switch to project view. Here we need to create a new project. Let's create a new project. Click on create. After that, click here, then simulation tables and simulation table one. Right click here, click on load project tags. After that, we can start the simulation. As you can see here, when I turn on lock button, door gets locked. And if we press unlock button, here, the door gets unlocked and it will wait for 10 seconds and then door gets automatically locked. As you can see here, the door gets locked and if there is someone at the door, the door does not get locked. So if I turn on lock button, Still, the door does not get locked as there is the sensor that detects someone is at the door. If there is no one at the door, lock button is pressed, the door automatically gets locked. And then if unlock button is turned on, uh, when unlock button is turned on, the door lock gets, uh, the door gets unlocked and it will wait for Sometime it will wait for 10 seconds and then it will get automatically locked. The door gets locked. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.